Hi, Jasmine. Hola. How is Sorry. it going? Don't worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's been so bad. It's kind of okay. good. With okay. a honey that um, doesn't understand that I can't really pay attention to her. And she demands complex answers that she won't remember five minutes from now. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, okay. So I understand. Let me see. Is it raining out there, Jasmine? Oh, yeah. It's raining very hard. Yeah, right. Same here, you know? So I'm having the same issue. You know, casi no los puedo escuchar. Well, I cannot. <clears throat> Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Let me see. Is that your dog? Yes, le presento una de mis bestias. Ay, que es niña. Niña. ¿Cómo se llama? Lucky. Lucky. Oh, ok. Mm. Igual, yeah. yo tengo, tengo una pitbull. Siempre está aquí conmigo durante las clases. Una yeah. pitbull, yes. Yeah. Yo tengo tres. Solo que ah. este es el más cariño. El más de, mami, dame cariño. Sí, son bien demandantes. Qué genial, qué lindo, qué lindo, Jasmine. Pero qué suerte tener tres. Yo solo puedo tener una. Bueno, tanta suerte. Estamos algo <ríe> Ok. Ok. Bien. Esperemos a los compañeros. Ahí okay. vienen. There we go. There they come. Erwin is in the class. Jasmine. Ahí viene. Muy bien, chicas. Okay, let me say hi, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. Hello. How is it going? How was your day or your weekend? Uh, fine. I, I, I rest a lot. Um, today maybe was a, a maybe a, it was, was an obvious day, but always we have to work. Today, uh, it wasn't good. Really? Oh, okay. Let's see. David, Genesis, Jocelyn, Erwin. Hello. Hi. I can see you guys. Hi. Good evening. How are sorry. you? I'm good. I'm feeling better today, you know? Si he estado really? Todo el weekend. Estaba muy mal de la gripe. No sé qué pasa. You no, know? las defensas uh, bajísimas. Uh, no, no ayuda el clima tampoco. No, ahorita ya me empezó el frío. <ríe> Ay, no, qué terrible. No tengo calcetines a la mano. Oh. Yes, right. Pero así vamos. Ok, class number 15. Ya solo nos faltan cuántas clases. Let me see. 
10, 10 more. So it means that, yeah, this week we're going to have five classes. And then we have, oh no, tenemos el corte, ¿verdad? Creería vacación. Let me check. Yes. Se nos va a cortar la semana de vacación. And then we come back so we can finish with this, uh, with this five missing class. Creo que nos haría falta seis clases después de vacación. Six extra classes, right? But in today's class, as you may remember, we couldn't um, have the presentations. You have been working in this last topic from unit number two about the example of phonetical practices. So this is the day that we are going to have those presentations so we can finish with unit number two and we can move to a different topic, okay? But as I mentioned before, last class as well, we really need to finish with the exercises that we have in the platform. Midterm exam and also uh, section number two exercises. So this is what we are going to be doing in today's class. But first, we're going to have an activity, right? Because it's Monday, it's the first class of the week. We are going to have an introductory activity. But let's wait for your classmates because we are going to be making two groups. Vamos a tener dos grupos en esta clase. But first, let me show you the activities for today. Veamos. Look at this. These are the activities that we are going to have today. As I mentioned before, we are going to have this review and in pairs or in groups, we are going to be completing unit two exercises in the midterm exam as well. Uh, later on, we're going to have the group presentations, the ones that we are still missing. And if we still have time, yeah, we're going to have this introduction, right? Unit number three, we have a grammar topic for unit number three. New vocabulary, new definitions, and new topic for unit number three. So this is what we are expecting to cover in today's class. Great. How many students do I have? Veamos, nine. Okay. Vamos a ver. Nine students. I'm still missing eight. Nine students as well. Okay, so yeah, no, let's start by doing this then. Let's see, um, I really need you to work in groups or in pairs, you know, and please go to section number two, make sure that you have all the activities from the platform ready. So after um, we move on to the next activity, I'm gonna be asking you, if you could share your screen so we can take a look at the exercises, right? So I can make sure that everybody has section number two ready to present, you know? So I can let people from the academy that they can go ahead and check the activities tomorrow, okay? So let's see, let's start by doing this today. Probably we are going to have the other activity later on, okay? Let me see, because of the time. So activity number one, let's work in groups. Let's review the exercises. And please, if you need help, if you have uh, comments or questions about section number two, just let me know, okay? Here we go.
Okay. Let me see, David. Dos dispositivos. Let me see. Okay, so here we go. Welcome back. This is the first activity for today, okay? You can take some minutes from 15 to 20 minutes, right? To go, review the platform, complete the exercises that we are still missing, and then we come back, okay? First activity from this class. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Kenya. Hi, William. I'm going to be sending you to room number one. As the first activity, we are going um, to the platform. You can go over the exercises that we have there, the midterm exam as well. And I really need you to finish with section number two and the midterm exam today, right? This is going to be the first activity, okay? So I'm gonna be gonna, let me see, sending you to room number one, go and work in pairs. If you have questions, should, just let me know, okay? Here we go. And do you? I, I can I can hear very well. Uh, I I'm sorry. Okay, I will look for another earphone. Just let me one moment, please. <laughs> sorry. Hi, David. Hi, Jocelyn. Is she having problems with the earphones? So what's going I, on? I I have problem because I can hear very well because of the rain. Oh it's yeah, okay. Her. And uh, uh, I hear only half. <laughs> okay. So but now I am opening my my platform. Okay. That is, that is the thing we need to work in the platform. That is the idea. Exactly. Unit number two. It needs to be over today okay so we can move on to unit number three and because they already asked me you know people from the academy if you guys have a section number two ready and not all of you uh, have these exercises ready right so take the time i'm gonna be here helping you okay okay very good. I, I am in the, okay, I only, I don't know why, this one, this 2.8 is okay. Okay, let me see. Uh, yes, it's okay. There we go, excellent. And uh, uh, this one is uh, nothing. No, exactly. Then 
this one we put all, all of the definitions. Exactly. That was a TV for that one. Very good. Yes, this one is uh, missing instructions. Select mm -hmm. the best word to complete the sentences. You own the wrong company and you found out one of your employees was doing something. Okay. Like taking credit for someone else. Unerica, something. <laughs> this I... is uh, fraudulent. Okay. Like taking credit for someone's work. There we go. Uh, what would you consider working for a company that had been convicted of? Of. A... Okay. Just let me explain Francisco. Francisco, he is in the room already. Hi, Francisco. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> A little tired, but uh, I can't imagine. Okay. okay, you're okay. We're happy to have you here. You know, in this moment, uh, we really need to complete the missing um, activities or exercises that we have in unit oh. number two and also the midterm exam. So, okay. work with your classmates. If you have questions, guys, just let me know. Okay, I'm going to be ready to help you. Okay. There we go, excellent. I tried. Okay, thank okay. you. There we go, you're welcome. Now, did you hear me? A little, a little. I, I can hear the teacher. Hi, guys. Fernando and Erwin. Hi, teacher, how are you? Hi, <laughs> I'm good, Hi. I'm good. You know, uh, I don't know if the instructions are clear. What do we need to do in this moment? Yes? Uh, finish the, the platform. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Go over section number two, review the exercises that we have there and also the midterm exam. And you can help each other, right? To complete the, exam, the examples that we have there, the activities. And if you have questions, just let me know. I'm ready to help you, okay? Okay. There we go, excellent. So keep on working. Okay, I'm going to bring Diego Alejandro to this room. So please explain about the activities so he can be ready to work as well, okay? Okay. There we go. Hi guys. Hi teacher. Hi. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. We're working there we the go. Platform. So yes, just go over section number two, review the exercises that we have there. If you need help or if you have questions, just let me know. I'm gonna be ready to help you. Okay. Okay, thank you. There teacher. we go. Keep on working. Excellent. Okay. Best friend, the partner. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it doesn't, uh, say. it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, for having people no false yeah employees and managers can get economical benefits from cultural diversity Two? Yeah, let's just check. But does it say economical? 
no, it doesn't say. Yeah, I think those can provide motivation. Embrace learning new language, but it doesn't say about all this. Mm -hmm. I will try. It doesn't say. And doesn't the second say. one was. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Which one? The, no, the second one, but it was true, true right? Well, yes. Sure. Okay, so let's go to the next one, I guess. Let's see. Um, that 2.11. So it says it. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Varys. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Nice to have you here in the class. Thank you. Okay. You know, uh, as the first activity from this class, we are working in groups. Well, actually in pairs. And okay. we, are, uh, go, we are working in these uh, exercises. Exercises from section number two and also in the midterm exam because yes. you need to have those exercises ready uh, for today, okay? So okay. I'm uh, gonna be sending you to a group and you can help each other, guys. But if you have questions, just let me know. I'm gonna be ready to help you, okay? Okay, thank you. Great. Go and work with, let me see, Genesis and Madeline. Okay. I don't know, reservation. This yeah. one is reservation. The number three is protecting yourself from losing control or power. Number three. It's ga oh. budget games. Uh, no, protecting yourself. Um, uh -huh. Losing control okay. of power. Tor what? The number three, protecting your, yourself uh -huh. from losing control or power. What word is? Truth, mm, worry, the word game. I can go up the second. No, not a killer. Who is the person? Ninguna not tiene keeping sentido. others informed. I got a secret. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. <laughs> uh, find any logic. Do you need some help? Skateboarding <laughs> is yes, skateboarding yes. is el chivo expiatorio. <laughs> Blaming others, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Blaming <laughs> others for me. Sir. But in the budget, in anticipation of cops. Antes de que me, así es el gobierno, antes de que me nos quiten el presupuesto, gastémoslo. <laughs> yes. No creo, yes. aquí en El Salvador, yes. no, not really. It doesn't happen. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, not really. <laughs> okay, protecting yourself, I don't know. Pronouncing control or power, this one, I don't know what. And if you don't want to take risk, risk aversion, and not keeping a secret, and not keeping other information is, mm -hmm. I got a second. 
So I don't know if it's me, but I cannot see what you're sharing. Ah, sorry. Solo te dice que ha empezado a compartir. Ah, there we go. Ahora sí. Now, now I can. Now. Yes. Blame, uh -huh. Blaming others is scapegoating. <laughs> o sea, cabra, ese es, es el, el término bíblico que se usaba para sí, el chivo expiatorio. El chivo expiatorio, ¿no? muy bien. Y el chivo expiatorio, sí. eso está en la Biblia, perdón. Sí, sí. Yes. Padding the budget. Eh, pagar el presupuesto con anticipación. Exacto. Eh, budget game. Se protecte Jerusalén. I don't have an idea, but I think this one because it's the last one that I have. Tough wording. I don't yes, know what is the meaning of that. But I, I think that is. Como, like to tener guardado el secreto, ¿no? Eh, this is the last one. I even got a uh -huh. secret. Not keeping others informed of the situation. This can happen on all levels and in all directions. Yes. I don't. That's the one. Uh, I've got a secret. I think. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> that is correct. And not doing what is needed to succeed because you feel the consequences, risk of aversion. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, aversion al riesgo. And the last one is tough guardian. I don't know what is. I think is that. Las tortugas ninja, but I, I don't know what is the meaning. Okay, let me give you a definition. You see, we have extra vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah, we Tarf. didn't guarding. Let me see. Turf guarding. It's a way of creating oh boundaries to protect areas. So personal power yes. gained as a result of proficient yes, knowledge. Yes, that one. Employment, okay. So let me look for a synonym. Yes, that, that is protecting yourself. Yeah, protecting yourself. Turf garden. Mm -hmm. Turf garden. She agreed. She agreed. Agreed to pay. To pay, yeah. Hector dislikes going. Going? To the opera, Martin admires. Admires to steal, to steal the money from the safe. Este si era salvadoreño. <laughs> Elizabeth <laughs> didn't need doing the final exams. I regret. Hello. To forget. I regret to forget. Volví a olvidar el cumpleaños de mi abuelo. Okay. No, forgetting. I, I, I think it. Forgetting it to do. Only does one. I am okay. Keep going, but this game is tough for the end with subversion. I got a secret. And yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. And now so wow. this intermediate Susan shoes. I mean the side. Maybe decide. Decide to see. see a doctor. Hello, hello. Hi, Harpin, are you there?
Hi, William, Kenya. Did you finish, guys? Hello. Um, Nothing? Okay, don't worry. Okay, Harabin, hello. How is it going? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay. Okay, excellent. It's really nice to have you in this class. Listen, okay. uh, uh, you're going to be working with William and Kenya, and this is what we're doing in this moment. Go to the platform, section number two, and we really need to finish this section today, okay? So review uh, the activities that we have there, try to complete, and in case that you have questions or you need help, you can ask your classmates or you can also ask me. I'm going to be ready to help you, okay? Okay, all the sections too. And the midterm exam as well. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Then that's it, right? Oh, so <laughs> I think we should do the matter. <laughs> what? Are we gonna do the midterm exam? You need to. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we need to. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, do you still need uh, extra time so you can finish? Um, I, I, we already finished the, the, the first oh, section. Second uh, number two. Right? Yeah, and we're just missing the midterm. Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, do you have part number one? Or, or not. Uh, oh, do you own company? Uh, one of your employees drink something. But it's the same thing. The hand. And this is where we're going to continue with the other. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. With the midterm exam, which apparently is a mix of things that we already did, because I see uh, the questions that we just answered. Okay. So Yeah. yeah, the first one. Uh... Did you guys finish? Mm, my case, I, I did. You did. And Erwin and Diego, how about you? I tried to do it, teacher. Okay. You know, um, Fernando, you could um, easily share your screen so your classmates can take a look at the exercises that you have there and you can compare as well. Compare what you got, the answers that you got, right? This is idea. So you can ask and work together to complete the, the activities, okay? Okay. Or probably Erwin, you can do it as well. Or Diego Alejandro and Fernando is going to help you guys. Mm
Okay, you already finished. How about the midterm exam, uh, Fernando? Did you finish with that as well? Yes, yes, I did too. Okay. You did. Okay, so Erwin, no sé si puede compartir pantalla, Erwin, para que veamos en qué parte va. Está en el celular. ¿En Diego? I, um, I, I don't have um, the login and the password. Really? Yes. But they yes, told me. I received, I received a call Saturday, right? around 12, but I was not able to answer. Then I tried to call, call back and I, I didn't get a response. So I'm still missing. It was um, on Saturday, right? Yes, yes, but I was not able to answer. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because I, they told I, I, me that they were going to, to reach you on that day. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh, so, I, will, I don't know, maybe I can try to to write. I, um, I will say I tried to to write by via WhatsApp on Saturday, but I, I didn't get an answer also. Mm -hmm. So you know what? Mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. Diego, escribamos ahorita en el chat grupal que tenemos, right? Porque ahí también comparte, están revisando ahorita. We have two, two, creo que son two girls, I don't know. Son dos chicas que están mm -hmm. trabajando de noche. So they can help you. Eh, no puedo ingresar a la plataforma. Porque yo cuando okay. escribo, escribo en el chat en que estamos todos, todos los teachers y se mezcla bastante la información. Entonces sí, escribamos okay. mejor ahí para que nos puedan ayudar. Ok, Bye. okay, okay. okay there we go. Le doy, chicos, unos 10, 5, 10 minutos más, ok? Así le podemos ayudar a Erwin y podemos finalizar, ok? Don't worry. Hi, Telma. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How is it going? Excuse me. Excuse me for coming late. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's really nice it's to have a... you here. Yeah, tell me. There are a, a heavy raining in, the, in my song. I know, I know. It's an electrical here. storm. It yeah? is. It is, right? So don't worry, you know? As the first activity, we have been working in the platform, section number two, okay. exercises and the midterm exam, because we really need to finish with those activities today, okay? So this is what we are doing right now, but I'm gonna bring your classmates back. So I guess we already finished with that activity, but don't worry, take your time and go and complete those exercises today in case that you haven't been able to complete them, okay? Okay, but I, I, I have been complete uh -huh. the first 
first part of the mid turn. Of the mid -term. There are a, there are there are a, a little problem in uh, And okay, mid for three with with four. Let me see. And this part, part number one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me check. The sentence. Where is it? I have a meeting. <laughs> The number three with the four. Yeah, midterm. Four yeah, sentence. Midterm part number one. Yeah. Three and four. The <laughs> sentence. The <laughs> sentence three. Uh huh. Uh, I watch with um. Was with yeah. the four. Yeah, I get. Uh, they were like together, right? The same item, the mismo item, estaban, right? Three and four, and we didn't yes. have. Uh, yeah. So I guess yeah, I already asked them so they can fix it. So it's ready. You can go ahead and review if you have it like this. And only. Solo, solo falta. This is what you're missing. Sí. Sí. Muy bien. Okay, great. Oh, perfect. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna try it then. Okay, go. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Okay, time to come back. Did you guys finish? Yes, you did. Yes, teacher. There we go, excellent. We did. To 3.5. Muy bien. Vamos a ver. Questions about the exercises? No, está todo bien. Terminamos section number two in the midterm exam as well. Yes, teacher. Yes. Muy bien. Okay. So, yeah. We can move on to a different topic, you know. We can sleep a little, teacher. <laughs> Podemos dormir en paz, yeah. No, because yeah, it's necessary. I know that sometimes we do not have like this extra time so we can, you know, access the platform and complete those exercises. So that's why I decided to give you this time so you could complete this exercise. I am, I am really tired, teacher. I listened to the, the, the half of the class in, in sleeping way. Come on, ya la vamos a hacer despertar a David. Come on. Okay, let's have this activity right now. Vamos a ver. Now I have 17 students. Voy a pasar la lista first. Let me check the attendance list. Luego nos movemos a una actividad. Here we go. ¿Qué día es ahora? The 20th, 25th. 25. Vamos a ver. Aquí estamos. Monday. Ok, Andrés Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present. Muy bien. David Samuel Galdámez Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. I'm here. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. I guess she's still there. Doris. Ahí estamos, Doris. Say present. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. 
Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Arvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Very good job. Okay, class. Let me see, have you ever played Pictionary? Do you know what Pictionary is? Who has played Pictionary? Not yeah. really? Yeah? What is that about? So you start drawing a picture. Okay. To represent a word and your yes. team has to uh, figure out what is it that you're- Exactly. Just like Jasmine said, you need to start like drawing a picture. I'm gonna give uh, some words so you can uh, start drawing, but I will need get over two volunteers. Alguien que sea bueno dibujando. Oh, not really. It doesn't really matter. No, it's a janitor. Come on. It. Okay, I, Genesis. I, I am really well, teacher. <laughs> Come on, David, okay. <laughs> okay, Genesis. Who's the other one, the other volunteer? Let, let me have, okay, lower this, there we go, okay. Let's explico como va. Listen, this is what we're gonna be doing in this moment. This was the first activity, right? But I, re, I was missing like seven or eight students, so we couldn't have the activity at the beginning of the class. Let me see. This is my whiteboard, mi pizarra, right? mm -hmm. uh, But first, let me do something. This moisture. Okay, whenever I am using my whiteboard and I start, um, doing this screen sharing, yo veo este panel, right? With different options. So the one that you're gonna be using, uh, Lourdes and Genesis, is this one. Draw, the drawing one. Okay. okay. So you can easily represent. For example, si hago esto, what is this class? Ustedes tienen que adivinar, what is this? Uh -huh. An easy one. Face. A happy face. face. Okay, so this is what you're going to be doing. Bien. Genesis, I'm going to be sending, let me see how many, five different words. Only you, you are going to know about these words. Nadie más puede saber, okay? Okay. A very, very easy ones. No, seven. Son siete. Okay, here we go. Am I gonna share my screen? I didn't I didn't get I, that. I will help you. I will help you. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, Hennessy's. Yeah, seven. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me see how this activity goes. Okay. I did a bunch of that. I'm just... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I almost said it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, okay, and you guys be ready. There we go. Okay, so how do I start drawing? Wait. Okay. Ivan, please. 
Ahí está, o sea, Génesis. Ok. Vamos a ver, here we go, class. I'm on my phone, so. Please bear with I guess it's easier. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. See. Um. Okay, once you're ready, just let me know. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready okay, now. here we go. First one. First picture. Aquí vamos. Ah! Why you how, was I, ah how was I supposed to do that? Yeah, ahí vamos. There we go. But I, you but cannot. I it's not, it's not drawing anything. Yeah, it's not drawing anything. Oh, there again. White. How do I change the color? Oh, wait, let me help you. Don't you worry. Vamos a no, I already changed it. I, I, I think I, I got it. Yeah, I pero it. vamos a poner más delgadito, like this one and in a different okay. color, probably black. Okay. Okay, go and try it. Uh, okay. What is that, class? <laughs> bread. Bread. No? bread. 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 Is that bread? Can I say yes? No. <laughs> no. Okay, not, not good. It's, it's a pie. It's a pie. A bread. <laughs> it's a lunch. Apple pie. Apple pie. No, it's not I, an apple. I, I said pie. Um, yeah, it's a cherry pie. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said it. Somebody said it. Pie. Yeah. There we yeah, go. There we go. Great job. I, I, I have the half of the pie because I said pie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. The other one. Okay. Second word. Okay, let's erase see. that. Can I, yeah, I'm gonna erase it. Okay. I am hungry now. <laughs> You're sleepy and hungry. <laughs> okay, what's that? This is a tecomate. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you say tecomate in English? Not, not really. Mm. It's the snowman. Uh, yeah. It's a yelling. It's a and rocket. Fly. It's a fly. And it's a, a butterfly. It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly. It's, a it's butterfly. Superman. Superman. Uh, uh, when the villa snow me. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Batman. Somebody said, said something about that. Throwing? Oh, the like, butterfly. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, it's you're it's close. You're close. It's snow. Uh, you're close. You're close. There's no point. There's no word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jasmine said it. Jasmine said it. Oh, no. really? There's no word. There's no ball fight. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a yeah. fight. It's a fight. Exactly. No. There we go. Excellent, Jasmine. Vamos a ver. Next one. Siguiente. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> I think this one is easier. I okay. Think. Oh, okay, class. Mm. Very easy. No, ma. No, ma. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Fernando. You're right. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. <laughs> this is I, super I, hard. I will say you laugh, but <laughs> I have no idea how to draw this. Okay, yeah. This is um mm -hmm. it says key. Okay. Skate go. Oh, uh, wow. Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Or Christmas. Yeah. Christmas? Santa Claus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but. Christmas. Yeah, but... Who's writing it? Reindeer sleep? No, Santa Claus. No, Santa Claus. 
Santa Claus with, with gifts. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Claus is coming. That's right. Come. <laughs> there we go. May I, can I see it? Yeah, that's Santa okay. Slave. Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming. All right. <laughs> okay, the other one. What's that? This is Olympic Games. <laughs> A cookie jar, no? Yeah, but candy jar. <laughs> uh, chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Cookie jar. You're close, you're close. Ah, uh, the cookie jar, the chocolate chips cookie jar. Ah. <laughs> uh, Somebody is stealing the cookie. <laughs> El Grinch, <man. laughs> For Santa Claus. I want a cookie with hot chocolate. <laughs> la versión en inglés de, de las manos en la masa, pero con galletas. <laughs> no, look at what I'm <laughs> drawing here. Uh -huh. Giving uh -huh. a present. Uh -huh. Giving uh -huh. a yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. what, is what, is what is it? What is it? What's the. Okay. Okay. So it's a present, it has cookies in it. So it's a cookie. So it's a cookie jar. It's a cookie dev. <laughs> it's a synonym of present. This is a present. So, so, so this is a regalo. It's a present. Yeah. But there, there is a synonym for present. That's another way of saying present. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Cookies are good. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, 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 that's okay. That's okay. There we go. It was cookies gift. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. And the last one. Oh, this last is one. the easiest one. Okay, the last one. <laughs> I'm just I'm not even gonna finish it and you're you're gonna know what it is. Yeah, I know. This is the easiest one. <laughs> oh come on. Or no, Christmas maybe tree. not. Oh, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> and that was it. That was it. Uh, wow, this was great, you know? <laughs> so what season is this? Oh, no. <laughs> it's it's Christmas. 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 So, yeah. Let me see. ¿Cuántos días faltan para Christmas? Wait find out. Wait <laughs> for the Christmas. Yeah, right. We all are great. Yeah, job, for the Christmas. Yeah, right. We all are great. 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 Yeah, right. We here you have it. And let me show you. Look. Estas eran las palabras de Genesis. Yes. Pumpkin pie, snow wall. Ahí estamos. Yes, yeah, seven different words. <laughs> Excellent. Muy bien. Move on. Oh, I'm so dumb. I. I read cookies gift and I, <laughs> was, I was like separate words. <laughs> no, not really. Okay. It's I'm cookies sorry. and then gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lourdes, are you ready? I was there. Yes. Muy bien. Vamos. Okay, lo urdes. Okay, lo urdes. <laughs> 
I guess number six is a little bit difficult. Yes. Okay, but here we go. Try. <laughs> awesome. Here we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? I think. Okay, um, go. Yeah. Um, what, how do I erase? Mickey Mouse. Let me know. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, how do I erase? The... Let me help you. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. So this is the first one. Okay, first, first one. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, go. Oh, what is that, man? A heart. A heart. A heart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, try another one. <laughs> you are in love. It's not, just, it's not just the heart, then? No. no. It's the not. Heart. Uh, what is it? heart. Flower, uh, petal. Broken? No. Ah, it's not just heart and narrow. It's <laughs> narrow. Chocolate heart. <laughs> no, not really. What do you think when you see a heart? <laughs> oh, no. Love, love. Red. Oh, yes. love. Yeah, Fernando, excellent. Love. Very good. <laughs> love. Okay. Okay, the second one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay. Here we go. What is that? A pillow. Blackboard. <laughs> A window. Yale. <laughs> A jail. No. <laughs> a chocolate. Is a board game? No. This is chocolate. Um, calendar. Is it like uh, checkers or like um, tic tac toe? No. <laughs> <laughs> but is it a game? This is a schedule. Calendar. Schedule. Yes. Calendar. Uh, calendar. I, I, I said calendar. Yes, it's a calendar. It's but calendar. Calendar. It's a, a schedule, a weekly oh, calendar. Wednesday. A, a no. It's a week? related to the last one. Valentine's Day. Week, month. Yes, February the 4th. Uh, oh, Orlando is really close. <laughs> Okay. Fernando, uh, yeah, Fernando. Uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, no? February the 14th? Yeah, it's, it's like that, right, teacher? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. What about Valentine's? Okay. Okay. Be my Valentine. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, next one. Do I draw it next to this one? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, uh, this one is hard. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. 
<laughs> I hope you them. I kiss. I kiss chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, I was this, afraid. Uh, of chocolate in the house. Yeah. <laughs> a kiss. A kiss. Chocolate. A kiss. Chocolate. Anna. Yeah. Yeah. It is related to Valentine's Day, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> you got it, yeah. Okay. The, the, other, the other one, Kenneth is... <laughs> yeah, so this okay. Is related to Valentine's <laughs> Okay, okay next. keep that in mind. <laughs> Chocolate. Yes. <laughs> It's a chocolate. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> it yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, the next one. Next one. Leather. Love leather. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. Not leather. Kind of like that. Mm. Yeah. Poem? Mm. Poem? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a poem. it's a poem. It's a poem. Okay. Poetry. Okay. Mm. The next one. Okay. Uh, what's Okay, let me see if I can help. Yeah. This is an an, an okay, invisible. Okay. <laughs> Happy face. Uh, Somebody uh -huh. know. A couple. Yeah, a couple. A couple. Uh, Engaged. Um, um, it's like a couple, but it's not uh, that romantic. Friendship? Friend. Friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, in love? <laughs> just means they are in love. In love? I don't know. No, I agree. Dating. Dating. I yes. Like back. <laughs> a couple in love. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, in love, yeah. Could be in love. It's, it's no, but she said, she said it's not romantic. It's not in it's a romantic, romantic way. It's no. not romantic. Okay. Uh, so it's not, but it's a form of love, right? Yeah. Family. <laughs> no, it's not family, no. No. Friend? Oh, friendship? Uh -huh. No, but oh, first yeah, time. Jasmine? Yes, friendship. Mother yeah, and boy. A couple. <laughs> no, we had already said friends. No, but first. first <laughs> Mother <laughs> day. Okay. Okay, the next one. Ah, porque San Valentín es día del amor y la amistad, so friendship. Yeah, friendship, that's why. <laughs> that's why. I will try it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember. What? What is that? It's like a rose. Oh. A flower. A yeah. A rose. A rose. <laughs> a rose. Yeah. Rose. It's more nice. than one. It's a rose. <laughs> it's a bouquet. A rose bouquet. Uh -huh. It's a rose. Yeah. Our flower. Who has roses? <laughs> yeah. Roses. There you go. Okay, so yeah, you already know, right? What is this topic about or the idea that we have with these drawings? Valentine's. Valentine's. Valentine's, Valentine's yeah. as well. So Christmas and Valentine's. Excellent job. Muy bien, Cass. You did it. Great. <laughs> Muy bien, chicos. So you see, this is another way of practicing vocabulary the same time, you know, having fun. Muy bien. We're going to have a similar activity probably tomorrow if we have time, right? Or 
on Wednesday. But excellent job. You did it great. Vamos a ver, class. Let me ask you, are you ready to present the information that we have still pending? Not really. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> hey, but everybody. Yes, teacher. See? Yes. Because you're not to be honest, I don't even remember about the groups. No me acuerdo mm -hmm. con quién están trabajando, class. Do you still I remember? On, yeah, I do. You do? I do. I was talking with Moncita and Telma. I, I was wait. with Kenya. Yeah. Let me know something. Yeah, okay, so please, if you remember about who were the ones you were working with, ustedes elijan su sala, okay? Jasmine. Uh, room number one. ¿Con quién trabajó Jasmine? Estaba con Lourdes y Telma. Ok, Lourdes y Telma, room number one. Váyanse a la sala uno. Ok. okay. Lourdes y okay. Telma y Jasmine. Uh, Genesis, you... who were the ones? I was just with Kenya. Ok, so Genesis and Kenya, room number two. Váyanse a la dos. Ok. Organiza la información. You need to pick. Aquí le voy. Ahorita la voy a abrir. Don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. Vaya. Okay. How, how, do you, how do you go to your uh, room? Okay, so let me help you. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I already saw. Uh -huh. Number two, right? Uh huh. Okay. Okay, there it is. There we go. There we go. See. So yeah. There we go. Hey, Erwin, who were you working with on Friday? Con quien trabajó el viernes, Erwin? You don't remember? <clears throat> I don't remember. Really? Okay, yes, Fernando, yes, in your case. I don't remember, but really? I think I was with Edwin. With Edwin. Uh -huh. With yes, Edwin, okay. Are you yes, sure? I, I don't know. I, I don't sure, but maybe. It's the... <laughs> ¿Qué tema les tocó, chicos? <laughs> okay. Uh, Esperemos. Let's wait for your classmate. David, sí. do you still remember? Arvin, do you I... still remember? I was with Doris and uh, uh, Jarvin or I don't know Jarvin or Francisco. I don't remember okay. if it was Jarvin or Francisco. I don't remember. Okay, Andres, do you still remember who were you working with on Friday? Doris? Francisco. Okay. Francisco eh, y David. Okay. Uh, yes. David, Francisco Doris, Doris and I. Francisco. Go to room number three. Vayan a la sala yeah. three. Okay. Can I ask something? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is, is this activity uh, about the groups that you made on Thursday? Yeah. Or... Oh. Same activity. La misma. Same activity. Oh, sure. It's the same. Yeah. Friday's class, and I wasn't sure. <laughs> Thank no, you. That, that's the one, yeah. Okay, sure. Thanks. Bye. So, there we go. David, Doris, vaya a ser la tres con, who was Francisco, right? Room number three. Vamos a ver. Andres, and you? Sorry, Jocelyn? teacher. The last one, the last class, I had problems with the internet. Really? But do you still remember who were the ones who were working with you? Not really. Uh, I I didn't work because when we have, yes, well, I was with Francisco, I remember, but I didn't work. 
Okay, but don't worry. Una es el grupo de Francisco. And where is Francisco? Ah, Francisco is having issues with the internet connection. Vaya, Fernando okay. and Erwin, go, to, go together. Váyanse a la sala número cuatro. Ya les voy a dar un tema. O no se acuerdan cuál fue el tema que estaban repasando. Do you still remember about the topic? The, I don't know if it was the, if it were the six and seven or five okay. and six. Let me send you the link. So probably you're going to remember about the, the okay. one that you were discussing about. Revisen chicos, para concluir con esta actividad ya, okay? Don't worry. Bueno, aquí está el chat. Se puede revisar Erwin o Fernando, ahí estamos. Oh, en Janari, Madeline, William. William, you were not in the class, right? Yeah, yeah, teacher. We had in the six, I think. Mm -hmm. Six group. Number. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, But, vaya. Uh, eh, William and Madeline. William and Madeline, so, vamos, yeah. William, Janari and Madeline, go to room number four, váyanse a la cuatro. Okay. Muy bien, go William and Madeline, please. There we go. Excellent. Vaya, me queda... Nadie, ahí estamos. Ok. ¿Y Doris? ¿No se unió a la sala, Doris, con David? Estoy con mi celular y ahí no realmente no sé cómo hacer. Bueno, vale, déjenme ver si le ayuda ahorita. Ok. Ok. Accept the invitation and go to room number three. Ahí estamos. Ok, Fernando, lo voy a enviar a la sala 5. Fernando en Erwin. Ok. Y... I don't remember exactly what was the... Chicos, como... <laughs> ya estuvieron trabajando casi media hora. De... <laughs> no importa, eso pasa. Vamos, sala 5. En Uy, Andrés. Es que está el anuncio, pero creo que nos podemos meter. ¿Quieres? Sí. Vamos. O sea, a las cinco ya hay dos personas. Sí, yo los estoy enviando a ustedes, ¿ok? Don't ah, okay. worry, go. Go, Fernando. Andrés también, go to room number five. Ok. En Jocelyn, Harbin, en Diego. Teacher, on Friday I was, one, I was just one hour at class, I remember. Oh, that's why. I don't have a thing. Okay. And Harbin and Diego? I was not here on Friday. Ah, you were not here. And Diego? You didn't here, come. But I remember that I had to work with Jesenia. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> sorry, Jocelyn. And, um, <laughs> So I don't know, if we can read the, the information right now and we can discuss Bien. it. Les explico. Right? Let me explain. Yeah, of course, sure. Mm -hmm. Le voy a dar los dos últimos. This, um, yeah, vamos a ver. Miren, this is the information that we have. As you may remember, we were discussing about type of unethical behavior in the workplace. So we have 15 different examples. Each group, is going to read about two examples, right? For example, this is the first one, misleading communication, and this is the second one. As you may see, we have some examples here. So what do you need to do? Read the information, and after that, come present the information to the class, okay? So they can okay. have the idea about what misleading communication is about and what is fraudulent behavior also. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Leer. And, and what's our topic? 
Y um, vamos, no, let me give you this one, los dos últimos. Este. Alcohol, Alcohol and drug, and drug abuse, use okay. and unsafe behavior. Okay. Y se van so we, we, we read it and then we will like we will like make an expl explanation about this. Exactly. This okay. is all about. Okay. So go we, to we just room need to talk, all right. Mm -hmm. Exactly, in different words and with examples that you may have about that topic, okay? Okay. Unanse a la sala seis, Justin, Harvin, and Diego, okay? There we go. Sala seis. Yeah. Diego. Okay, I'm just missing Jocelyn. Remember, you just need to read the information and the examples that you have there. Try to bring some examples, you know, think about possible examples about these two topics. And after that, you're going to be presenting this information to the class, right? In an easier way, with simple words. So your classmates can know about these two examples of analytical practice, okay? Uh, you have a problem because we know, we didn't know about what. Okay, let me help. <laughs> Come on, class. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Vamos a ayudarles. Don't worry. So, can you stop sharing just for a moment? Yes. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Take this one. This is your topic, okay? Bullying, muy común ese tema. Bullying, moving. Read about the examples. Bring some extra uh, examples to the class whenever you need to present this information make it as simple as possible right so your classmates can get the idea this is what you need to do there we go so keep on working
Ixi. I remember in the video I said uh, for anti competitive activity. Well, probably in behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, anti competitive. We we had to, to speak about two or three. I remember I remember the first two, but the three are I, I don't know. I, I have yes, and then in behavior that they say share the information with regulators. Okay. So then president can have a second mm -hmm. oh. I mean the council I don't know. Ah, estaba Freddy conmigo, es cierto. Sí. También. Uh -huh. es... uh -huh. Ah, oh, cuando ves la típica. Tengo memoria de látil ahorita. Sí. Bueno, vos ves todo. Quiero ver si es una. No, se pasó. Hasta ese es mi voz. Ajá. Se pasó a otro grupo, después ya no sale si hablaron de eso o no. Ay, Dios santo. Mm. Oye. Sí. Es cierto, si estaba Freddy conmigo, es cierto. About the taxes of the companies, about the about, 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 about taxes with the telephone. Maybe then when when they donate uh -huh. a little, maybe amount of money and the taxes are higher than the, the donate. So Mm -hmm. That's why they prefer to make manipulating quality reports. Ah, mm -hmm. by by lying or ignoring environmental regulations, uh, the the factories. Uh -huh. Let me uh, they mm -hmm. they put the garbage on, on the rivers. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't don't have a. A relation with their chemicals, substances, and they allow that substances for maybe what do you say? They don't have the 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 correct hand the correct handling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They. They don't handle, handle the, uh -huh. ignore environmental regulation because Okay, time to come back. Please tell me that you are ready to present this information. <laughs> Not really, teacher. Here we go. Okay, we still have 30 minutes. Are you ready to present this information in this moment? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. There we go. Vamos a ver. Okay, here we go. So let me have some volunteers. Who's ready to present the information? Me, teacher, but uh, I don't know. Doris and Francisco are having problems, but I am ready. ready. Okay, so yes. go ahead.
אוקיי? Okay, we are talking about the uh, uh, ostracins as the first one, the ostracins that is the painful of exclusion. And uh, uh, the are some examples, ignoring or avoiding a colleague at work, shooting out a colleague during conversations, not replying to a colleague greetings, phone calls or emails, giving the silent treatment to a colleague, acting as is a colleague is not present in the room, refusing to talk to a colleague at work, leaving a room when a colleague comes in, ignoring a colleague's input in a world debate of meeting. And ostracism, Always can can came from uh, sometimes it came from the the leadership. Uh, some leaders are uh, showing an ostracist behavior. In a there are people that are generally ignored, neglected, or excluded, or uh, there are uh, differential treatments or undermining some of the jobs that uh, one of the team is doing. And uh, uh, there are some, some moments in the uh, uh, states of the ostracism. Uh, the, the first time is uh, when the people detect that is uh, receiving ostracism. Then uh, the people uh, go into a reflexive stage that uh, cause pain, sadness, anger. Uh, if, the, if that treatment continue, then go to the another stage, the reflective stage. And uh, in this last stage, uh, the people need fortification in the, the belonging, in the cells of thin. And uh, if the ostracism epistle persists over an extended time, they go to a resignation stage. Yeah, it, it can uh, cause alienation, depression, uh, helplessness, sent feelings or feeling on unworthiness and uh, these are dangerous for the employee in the ostracism. And the next is this uh, uh, interpersonal deviance. That is an, an uh, like something like uh, ostracism in the upgrade. It's a behavior that brings harmful effects. This is uh, uh, going to directly to the people, making fun or embarrassing or making hurtful comments to a colleague, cursing at or being rude to a colleague, playing unwanted and mean pranks to a colleague, making mean gender, ethnic or religious comments to a colleague, Return in a colleague's workspace, starting or feeding harmful rumors about the colleagues, blaming a colleague for personal mistakes, starting unreasonable arguments with a colleague, making a colleague's life difficult at work, undermining the force of a colleague, putting down a colleague and pushing a colleague to discuss personal issues. This is um, um, a severe, severe treatment. Okay. The first one is um, is considered so minor, but 
but it's not at all. But this is a severe unethical uh, behavior. Behavior, okay. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Comments that is the or questions class. I guess this was well explained. Very good job, guys. Interesting. There we go. Okay, let me have the next group. Who's ready to present the information? Class, <laughs> come on. I mean, we don't have anything as, you know, put together as they did. We don't really have a presentation. Yeah, but right. No, don't you worry. What okay. you can do, try to present the information the same as we have it in the link that I sent, right? Present it in yeah. that way. Yeah, as, as we have it from that, I'm just gonna. Okay, go ahead. Wait a minute. Okay, can you see the screen? Uh, yeah. And with the orders, we had to um, talk about the withdrawal and knowledge hiding. So withdrawal is uh, one of an ethical behaviors whose target is the organization itself. And in this case, withdrawal can be understood when you misuse either time or resources from the company to achieve your own purposes. And it can be expressed such as um, not following the times for either your breaks, your lunch, or you use excessive time for your own personal needs every now and then. The example that there is in the website for daydreaming excessively, there is with Lourdes were like, we're not really sure how would you realize that someone is daydreaming excessively? Kind of hard to tell. What? It can, I think it, it, with time you realize it, but not, not that quickly. Um, the pretending to be unwell, just so you can get out either early or not just go to work. That's one thing. Um, then taking an unreasonable time to do a job. Sometimes, yes, you may take an excessive time to do a job, but mostly because sometimes for you to do your work, you require someone else to do their job first. So there's not really a much point to do a job that you're not able to complete. Other than that is like working on personal matters during normal work time such as the example that we had with uh, Johnny slash Jamie last week, that he was um, using uh, time and resources for his, for his university class. The other is like coming late to work or finishing the day early with uh, repeatedly or consistently without an actual justification on actual reason as to why. Uh, playing online or computer games while at work. Uh, like rather than doing your job, you're surfing the websites or just listening to music, watching videos, or even not using your the computer, but rather your phone and be like this all day long. Um, and being aware of a colleague's unethical behavior and found to failing to address the issue in the sense that um, you find out someone is doing either one of the withdrawals or something that's knowledge hiding, which we'll talk about later. And the thing is that you fall into being unethical as well because you know something is wrong and you didn't do anything about it. Okay. So knowledge hiding, it's also a target who's the unethical behavior whose target is the organization itself. And the website describes three categories, plain dumb, ev evasive hiding, and rationalized hiding. So plain dumb, in layman terms, is hacerse el tonto. So in the sense that 
you can act like you don't know anything. And sometimes, depending on the company, it's for self-preservation rather than not the fact that you don't want to do anything. But it's because you're not, it's for your own sake, but in a way, pretend not knowing something for your own security. For the, your security at work, to remain with your job, or other there because you don't want to get in trouble with someone who has a position of authority with you. Evasive hiding. So evasive hiding is like sharing information but halfway there. So, es decir, la historia media. So you know information and you share information when asked, but you don't tell the whole story. So it's like saying, oh, who broke this? That person did. But I can be hiding like why they broke it. Like it was an accident. It was someone because of someone else's fault. So that's one thing. On the other one, like the rationalized hiding can be, uh, could be the most problematic one out of the three. Because rationalizing hiding is because you find a reason or justification as to why you don't share information that something is bad or wrong in your workplace. Uh, for example, like you know um, a particular business secret, let's say, you find out someone knows it and it's bad, but you don't know who else knows, you don't know who else is doing the misbehavior or unethical practice, and you aren't sure with who you should be sharing the information with to fix the situation, let's say. Because, for example, there are some activities like, for example, stealing money from a company is not something that everyone just can do. So let's say someone higher up has to be aware and part of it. So let's say you find out and you rationalize or a reason for your own safety not to do not to tell what's going on or in the case for example like you are working with someone who's a very dear friend to you or either your family member and you find out they're doing something wrong and you don't maybe because of loyalty issues you don't really want to be a snitch and say anything because you can get them in trouble. And of course they will be. But you kind of try to avoid getting them in trouble and rationalizing, okay, if no one knows I know and they get find out, I can play the fifth and said, I didn't know anything. So that's what we can Thank you. Okay, interesting comments, questions about this class. Everything is okay. Yeah, right. It was clear. Excellent job, guys. Okay, who's ready to present the information now? Probably us. Sure, go ahead. Um, yeah. I want to share a picture, but it doesn't let me. Well, can I just? I, I cannot share my screen right now, but can I just? Uh, Let me help you. Thank you. Okay. Which were the ones who were discussing? Uh, that one exactly, Bully and Mommy. Really? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, with Kenya, we, we were discussing this topic and bullying, um, it, we found the definitions that it is usually seen as acts or verbal comments that could psychologically or mentally hurt or isolate, isolate a person in the workplace. 
and it is a severe form of unethical behavior and other employees targeted. it. So basically it is when um, there could be feelings of envy and uh, or, or, or just disliking someone and some people might uh, retaliate against their coworkers and they often do it um, not in a direct way, but mostly in a, a subtle, subtle, subtle way. Uh, and there are some examples uh, like consistently ignoring, humiliating, or ridiculing a colleague at work. I I have seen that many people usually do this uh, as a joke, and uh, they usually joke about things that they know that make uncomfortable uh, someone else uncomfortable but and but they don't care because they do it on purpose and sometimes uh if it is happening to us we don't have the probably confidence uh on saying hey please don't do this and we just take it in order to not create conflict but um it's probably not the best way to deal with this kind of bullying and we should speak up and uh, say something that we don't like that they do this. Or they uh, make offensive remarks and unfounded allegations about a colleague. And uh, it happens that some people will create, um, they will start talking behind uh, our back and what they will say, they, they will create rumors about people just because they, uh, I, have, I have had this issue sometimes that they probably are saying things about me and they will, would tell me in my face, if, they would ask things that they wanna know, but um, it's just based on rumors and that is another form of bullying. And then uh, it says, unfairly accusing or blaming a colleague for something that went wrong at work. Uh, everybody makes mistakes and that's okay if we learn from them. But these people, the bullies, would often just uh, make remarks on those mistakes and always bring them up whenever they just want to attack. People. And um, excessively monitoring a colleague's work. Um, basically, they will start the metidos and uh, on other people's work, and they will would constantly be checking on you if you've already finished something that is doesn't even have to do with them. And just because they want to point out that you probably haven't finished or they want to pressure you and make you feel uncomfortable. And uh, consistently discharging personal frustration from a colleague. Uh, sometimes they would create conflict and by um, unloading all of their feelings or their frustrations from someone else, uh, even if they know that they, the other person doesn't have anything to do with that. So basically, those are some of the, of the things that we discussed about bullying. Okay, interesting. Bullying, yeah, this is a very common um, example, you know, that we can find at any place. I guess Madeline, William, and Janari, you were also, no, right? Who were the ones who were discussing about this one as well? Diego, right? Jocelyn and Harvey. No teacher, we got another. We got the other one. So who was the one? Quien más estaba viendo este? Because I still remember 
the our, our, our topic was related with drugs and alcohol okay. abuse. Yes, the last two last were the ones that mm -hmm. we were discussing, but this, I don't know. So guys, are you ready to present or who is ready to present? Because I still have like five to eight minutes, right? So two groups who can present some extra examples about this topic. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diego. What yes, were you discussing about? Um, yes, let me. Yes, basically, our topic was alcohol and drug use slash abuse. And well, as all of you can see, we have on the first one for topics. The first one is using illegal drugs at work. At work, I'm sorry. So basically, uh, Obviously, this is going to affect our performance at work and all the consequences of this um, is going to affect our, our performance, right? So obviously, you're not going to be able to concentrate. Um, you're not going to be able to complete the task that you have to do. Uh, the next one that we have is using illegal or recre recreational drugs that severely limit productivity and ability to work. So maybe this is related with, uh, with something like, uh, I don't know, maybe like weight, something like that, that is going to affect uh, like your mind. Your, like, basically, the topic of the drug, it's going to affect um, all of your performance, right? So. Then that's when it's being unable to perform normally due to alcohol or drug hangover. So obviously, if you if you went out uh, the last night before work, uh, next day you're going to have hangover, or you're not going to be able to. You you will not feel good. Probably you will uh, drink a lot of water. Uh, you you will be sleepy all day. And your boss can see that and I don't know, make me maybe like have a, like, um, uh, I don't know how to say this in English, like um, Jamal, I don't know. Hmm. And consuming alcohol on the job. Well, this is very uh, dangerous. Obviously, all of the people that are here in the, this meeting, are people that work. So I believe that all of us know that if you drink alcohol in the job, you will get fired. Um, okay. And so I don't know, the, the, the last, I, I need to. Un llamado, dijo Diego. I can barely hear you. Un llamado sería warning. Warning. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'm using the phone right now and I'm using the my headset because it's okay, raining very, right. very far here. Yeah. So uh, I need to speak about the last one on safe behavior too, or? So one of your classmates can help you. Who are the other, let me see. Um, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, right? Okay. Yes, Jocelyn. maybe she can help me with this one. Okay, go Jocelyn. Okay, uh, teacher. Uh, well, as Diego mentioned before, abuse, leadership, alcohol, and drugs, and uh, it is abuse of power when a leader acts in a manner that manipulates an area of control for personal. Uh, some example in this can be the ridiculizing, making negative comments about someone or something about the company, of course. Uh, also being rude with the employees and also treating supervisors as competitors or inferior, uh, rather than colleagues and partner also. We also were talking about such behavior, that this is, um, that there are dangerous acts that often result in injuries and can be identified with common sex and experience. As the example that were mentioned here, negligent to follow on in structure, failing to read safety instruction manuals, and discuss, discussing confidential information with 
unaturas people. Uh, sorry, it's raining really hard here. Okay, this okay, is yeah, don't you worry. Okay. So these are examples. There we go. Thank you, Jocelyn. So you see class, uh, yeah, we have been discussing about this topic, you know, in many classes, right? So this is uh, the last activity that we're going to have uh, about ethical and unethical practices. Right, any comments about this topic or how we learn? Uh, what have we learned from this topic? De la unidad dos, que se llevan? <laughs> what is the conclusion? Que podemos aprender? Que aplicamos con this topic? You know, ethical and unethical practices. Que nos llevamos? There are, there are important values that uh, even though maybe there are not clarified in the workplace, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, we know, we know about not uh, being rude with our co-workers or, uh, or uh, not, uh, uh, not uh, treat the co-workers in, uh, in a way, well, uh, there are a, a golden rule, the golden rule that is in the Bible that says okay. not do to others. No, 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 it's not in that way. The golden rule is may to the others man that do you want to do the man or do you want men do with you? In Spanish, says, how it goes in Spanish? Hacer? As a los demás. Oh. Lo que tú quieres que hagan contigo. This is the golden rule. This is now the golden the rule. rule in the history. Okay. If it, an important rule, because <laughs> if we, we harvest that uh, the things we put in or, or Cosechamos lo que sembramos. Bien, muy buena conclusión. Uh, yes, don't do others the thing that you don't want the others do to you. Nice. But in the Bible, it's in the, in a, in the positive, in positive way. It, they sell a salud de más lo que quieres que te hagan a ti. Muy bien. And, and uh, if we are complaining about something because we are doing something similar to other person. Excellent and interesting. Bien, class. Let me check the attendance list. So we can finish with this class. Muy bien, class. You have been doing a great job lately. Andres Giovanni Valtivieso Portillo. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present, teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendes. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Present. Jarmín Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Ok. Lourdes Monserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Muy bien. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martinez. But she was here. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Yeah. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. 
There we go. So let me see. Who was the last one? Me quedé con Telma, last class. Madeline, no sé si ya se quedó conmigo, Madeline. Not right? Not really. No. So can you stay today? Yes, for five or ten minutes. Okay. Class. There we go. So class, the rest of you can go. I really hope you to have a great night. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for participating today. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Take care. You too. Okay. Hi, Madeline. ¿Cómo estamos, Hi. Madeline? <laughs> cansada. Verdad, cansada. No, yo sé, entiendo. A veces dos horas o se sienten cortas o se sienten bien largas. Ok. But don't worry. Depende Vamos a hacer... de cómo estoy. ¿Verdad? Descansada. Sí, es verdad. Pero es lunes. Cuando es lunes y viernes, creo que el cerebro... <laughs> I know, right? Eso me yeah. pasa también. Pero no, 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 empecemos la semana. Vamos a hacerlo <laughs> rapidito. Eh, avanzado dos. Wow. ¿Cómo nos sentimos, Madeline, eh, con el avanzado número dos? How do you feel about this level? Mm, ¿En español o en inglés? No importa. Aquí <laughs> okay. eso ya es fuera de la clase, podemos expresarlo. Okay. <laughs> pues bien, bien, sí, sí, me siento okay. bien. Ok, de las cuatro skills, speaking, listening, writing, casi no lo hemos practicado, es bien difícil eh, hacerlo tal vez, pero tenemos speaking, listening, eh, ¿cuál más está? Reading, que sí lo hemos practicado mucho y pongámosle gramática, ok, I know that is not a skill, pero sí es parte de... ¿Cuál nos cuesta más de todas esas? Pues para mí es speaking. Speaking, ¿por qué? Ajá, ¿El y vocabulario? Poco, ¿o qué será? Sí, y lo, yo creo que viene de la mano con listening, porque a ah, veces, okay. ajá, porque a veces cuando, bueno, creo que como usted fue que nos puso como ejemplos de, de audio, y que como que eran del topo o del toy, que no me recuerdo. Entonces, yeah. eso me costó un poco porque... Como solo se escucha una vez, entonces la retentiva para mí es un poquito difícil. Sí, a la verdad que el listening es de las partes creo que más difíciles, pero eh, no, Madeline, yo he escuchado la pronunciación, la forma de expresarse, incluso yo la siento bien segura, o sea, segura para expresarse. Creo que es normal y es parte del proceso, a veces no tener tanto vocabulario, porque estos temas son temas que no manejamos a diario, en la vida real, tal vez, right Tenemos como que aprender el vocabulario y ponerlo en práctica. Eso nos pasa con, ¿por qué no andamos hablando de ética? Eh, casos de, como este tipo, ¿verdad? Todos los días. Por uh -huh. eso es aceptado de que muchas veces perdamos como la idea o no sé cómo se pronuncia porque son palabras nuevas que vamos aprendiendo, ¿ok? Pero sí, en el caso de listening, ¿qué podemos hacer para mejorar listening? Hay muchas formas. Uno, lo más fácil es ejercitarnos. Todo es como eh, que es? entre más practicamos, mejor nos va a ir. Entonces, así es el listening y así es el speaking. Una pregunta, usted no sé si, bueno, me imagino que usted lo hizo el, el, la, alguna certificación o algo. Eh, no sé cuál dice usted, si el toy o el top, cuál de los dos es un poquito más fácil. He hecho los dos, los dos he hecho. ¿Y cuál es el más fácil? Para mí el toy fue el más fácil. Uh -huh. Porque eh, lo que pasa es que un día de este creo que lo, bueno, mejor dicho, lo voy a hacer. Entonces, really? okay. eh, estoy muy nerviosa y la verdad no sé si tiene algún tip o algo para poder, o bueno, hacerlo bien. Sí, claro que sí. A la verdad, el TOEIC incluso se puede encontrar en internet ya resuelto. ¿De verdad? Sí. ¿Dónde? <risa> Yo soy demasiado curiosa y eh, para mí, bueno, el TOEFL en sí, el, 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 que yo el que yo hice no lo encontré tan fácil. El TOEIC sí. 
Sí se puede encontrar en YouTube. Ah. <ríe> ok, pero no sé dónde lo va a hacer, Madeline. ¿En qué lugar? Lo haré en, en, en el edificio Avante, está eh, digamos, en la agencia. O, Avante, ah, pero no ah, es en Facela. Sí. sí, ahí. Ah, muy bien. <ríe> Ahí lo hice yo también. Uy, no, vamos a pausar la grabación. Ah. No, sí, no, no, okay. no, no, solo, no, pues sí, eso no es dar copia, no, es solo dar ideas de dónde podemos practicar el listening. Ajá. Sí, porque por eso es que lo que me pone más nerviosa, porque el listening más que todo, porque ahí se ponen como varios, y, ah, yo me imagino que diferente, como... Claro, solo duran segunditos Ajá. y cambia de temas. Ok, so vamos a buscar YouTube. Pero sí están, porque yo incluso... Más que todo el acento a veces cambia de la, de la lengua. Entonces, Los he es ocupado que... para otras clases. Let me see, TOEFL practice. Ya me está fallando la garganta otra vez. Pero no, no se puedo, mojado. No puedo mejorar. No, no me he mojado. Let me see. Se llama TOEFL. I, creo que es el IPT. IBT. Sí. Y en esos días me desvelo y ya cuando me toca. Me... Uh, uh, no. These are the ones. Este es el que hacen el, el IBT, creo que le llaman. Uh -huh. oh. Pero en sí no recuerdo, tendría que buscar y con gusto yo lo comparto, pero sí. Ah, de acuerdo. Sí, súper. Que es hasta el mismo test que hacen. Hay uno que yo encontré que es el mismísimo. El mismo. Sí, porque Eso me va yo, a ayudar lo, yo lo tomé dos veces porque tiene caducidad. Ah. Creo que dura. No estoy seis segura si dos seis meses o Ajá. menos de un año, algo así. Por eso es que tuve que volver a tomarlo, pero sí fue el mismísimo que me hicieron. Pero, me imagino que ya la segunda vez ya salió mejor. Sí, porque recordaba, recordaba. Este, la parte de gramática no es nada difícil porque ahí vienen las opciones, pero el listening. Ajá. El listening es el que siento. Pero sí, el todo feo, pero no, vámonos con el toy. ¿Qué es el toy que es el más fácil? Let me see. Sí, aquí están estos. Así son, incluso así se ven las imágenes en el test, así en blanco y negro. Bien old fashioned. O sea, en serio. Así como están acá, es el mismo, los mismos que vienen. So you can practice here. Okay. Por ejemplo, así son, exactamente así luce, como este. Like this one. So, eso sería lo mejor, la mejor recomendación, ahí practicarlo. Sí. Porque sí, así es exactamente el ejercicio que, que ponen. No recuerdo cuántos ítems son por cada uno. I guess 40 or 50, creo, 50 de cada uno. Pero creo que lo que más estresa es el tiempo, que le están midiendo sí, el es. tiempo a uno. Es, es y lo me mejor. imagino que reading es peor todavía, ¿verdad? Porque o sea, tiene que ser como un scanning. Vaya, con reading, let me see. Con reading lo que pasa es que el reading es un texto gigante, grande. Y al final lo que preguntan es bien poco del reading. Okay. Lo que hay que hacer es ocupar canning. Leo la pregunta y voy y busco específicamente lo que me han preguntado. Porque si yo me detengo a leer todo el texto, cuando llego al final del texto se me ha olvidado. Y entonces sí está, digamos que leo la pregunta y sí está la respuesta ahí arriba. Sí pero está. No, no le cambian las palabras. Sino que no. Como... Mi estrategia para reading fue eh, como agarrar la main idea. Quiero ver que, ok, se lee el topic, topic sentence, sé de qué se va a tratar el reading, y luego escaneo rapidísimo cada párrafo. Ah, es como que sé de qué va a tratar la lectura. Luego me voy a cada pregunta y leo. Por ejemplo, siempre dice, en el párrafo número 2 o en la línea número 2, digamos, eh, la palabra tal es un sinónimo para, 
Entonces uno va y busca como la información específica para no leer como todas las lecturas. Porque ahí se va, sí, el tiempo. El tiempo. Sí, ahí se ve el tiempo, se ve el tiempo. ¿Qué más? Listening es el primero que, que ponen. O sea, esa es la primera parte que ponen, listening. Luego viene la lectura. Creo que la más fácil es la gramática. La gramática siento que es un poco más fácil de manejar. Aunque sí, igual aquí en YouTube están los ejercicios de gramática para el TOI. Eh, porque a veces puede ser bien confuso si nos confiamos. Por ejemplo, bien recuerdo que viene eso de los gerunds en infinitives. Uh -huh. Pero si yo no me acuerdo, o sea, cuáles son o cuáles verbos tengo que usar con los gerunds y cuáles con infinitivo, ahí es que nos podemos ir. ¿Y hace cuánto lo hizo? La última vez que lo tomé, no fue hace más de un año, dos años, creo. Un ah, año, sí, creo. Yeah. One year. Un año. Y sí, dan los resultados en el momento. <risa> Esa es lo, <risa> la peor parte. Sí. <risa> Estar esperando. Estar esperando. Oh. Bien, bien. Pero no, sí se puede. Yo sé que sí se puede. Eh, eh, esa es la clave, siento yo. Practicar aquí en YouTube es lo más que podemos hacer. ¿Para qué ir a estudiar aisladamente un libro o u otro contenido? No. Aquí, si ya están los ejercicios, para que, pues sí, tenga una idea de cómo es el test en sí. Eso, uh -huh. haga, no, hay, no hay donde más, o sea, buscar. YouTube es la por, solución. Por eso me metí también a estos cursos, porque dije que tal vez me iba a ayudar un poquito más como a Lisa, speaking y todo eso. Entonces, más sí, que siempre... todo, ya, yeah. o sea, aquí reforzamos muchísimo el speaking. Uh -huh. La seguridad que tengan todos al hablar, pues, es lo que importa ahora, speaking, speaking, speaking. Eh, me gusta bastante, Madeline es la primera vez, no, ¿cuántos cursos has estado con in, Intermedios de trabajo? Seis, me metí en el, el curso Intermedio seis. Tengo ¿Cuántos con, módulos con van serían a tres. Tres módulos, ah, ok, so, ya. Yeah. Es la misma metodología, siempre, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que trabajamos en grupo, es como que se les presenta una tarea, ok vocabulario, van, trabajan en grupos, presenten. Porque es la, la meta, ¿ok? Que también eh, desarrollen el speaking, que no le tengan miedo a hablar. So, Madeline, please, do that. Nunca. Si yo pido volunteers, o sea, siempre That is my es, problem. Exactamente, pero no hay problema, porque por eso trato de que trabajen en grupos pequeños, porque ahí o hablan o hablan. Uh -huh. O hablan, no hay otra manera. Uh -huh. Incluso parejas deberían de ser, porque ahí se ven forzados a sí, hablar. Los dos. Ajá. Ajá. Si hay tres, es bueno porque ya comparten ideas. Si hay cuatro, ya no habla uno. Solo hablan ah. tres o dos. Incluso tres, porque a veces solo dos están hablando. Exacto. Ajá, solo ah. dos. Así que por eso parejas o tres es lo máximo. Porque ahí sí hay oportunidad de hablar durante la clase. No pueden decir, yo no hablé durante la clase, porque sí hablaron. Cuando me meto a las salas, por eso muchas veces entro con cámara apagada para dejarlos que hablen, ¿ok? Porque es su tiempo de hablar, ¿ok? El tiempo que ustedes tienen para hablar. Entonces, aprovechemos esos momentos para hablar. No hay miedo que me estoy equivocando o que mi compañero pronuncia mejor. No, no importa. Todos estamos al mismo nivel y podemos aprender unos de otros, ¿ok? Que no me dé miedo hablar como hablo, no. Entre más practiquemos, más nos vamos a ir acostumbrando, uno, a reconocer que tal vez pronuncie mal o a dudar. Estoy dudando cómo se pronuncia esta palabra. Tengo la necesidad de ir, buscar cómo se pronuncia o preguntar cómo se pronuncia y así aprendo. ¿okay? Hagamos eso, no hay que tener miedo a hablar, a equivocarse, es parte del proceso. Eh, si sentimos que hay algo que nos está costando, reforcémoslo, porque el inglés es un idioma que estamos aprendiendo y no vamos a dejar de aprenderlo, ¿ok? Es infinito todo lo que tenemos que aprender de un nuevo idioma. Sí, así, así como el español, que nunca dejamos de aprender. Ah, el español, <risa> tenemos nuevos, nuevas palabras incluso, con esto de la tecnología, de la cuarentena, son cosas que, o sea, vocabulario que aprendimos a usar, ¿por qué? Porque simplemente lo pusimos en, eh, en práctica, en uso. O sea, palabras que antes no utilizábamos, pero que ahora sabemos qué significa, 
cómo lo uso. Entonces también por eso hago esto, cuando vamos y buscamos definiciones, no es para que se las memoricen, not really, sino para que tengan la idea de qué significa esa nueva palabra. Cuando leemos, ahí están esas palabras, entonces ustedes saben cómo utilizarlas en contexto también. Así que tomemos ventaja de cada clase, de cada actividad que hagamos. Y eso siento yo, practiquemos. Just practice, keep on doing that great job. Y esa es la clave, siento yo. La clave para seguir aprendiendo y reforzando nuestro inglés. ¿Ok? Y a tratar de participar más. Yo por eso digo, cuando volvemos a la sala principal, volunteers. Y siempre casi son los mismos, pero sí. depende de la personalidad de cada quien. Porque yo no los a veces obligo a participar, porque uno, ya sé que practicaron en grupos, bien. Y dos, porque eh, no todos tienen la misma personalidad. Eh, igual con la corrección, no todos toman la corrección de la misma manera. Sí, es pero para claro. mí sí, mejor, porque de los errores aprendo. Gracias por permitirme y saber que sí puedo corregir a Madeline, porque, uh -huh. y por ejemplo, <ríe> la situación bien. que pasó el jueves, lo del chat, no sé si recuerdan. Ah, sí, 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 creo que Tuve, se me gustó. Tuve un par de ofendidos y yo dije, bueno, no todos toman la corrección de la misma manera, entonces sí. Uh -huh. Me tocó disculparme después y dije, bueno, perdón, no, no, no voy a corregir, incluso me dijo, no, no me corrija. Yo, ok. Sí. Entonces dije, no hay problema. Sí. Yeah. Eso fue el viernes. On Friday, claro, pero lo ah. hice aparte. Ya, con la, ah, esta yeah. persona, hoy no vino, ah. no sé qué habrá pasado. Ah, pero bueno, sí, sí, por eso eh, me gusta preguntar si puedo corregir o no, porque no todos toman la corrección de una misma manera. De parte de la, o sea, es parte de la madurez que tiene. Pero... Sí, yo siento que uh -huh. es, es la... Exactamente, yo eso digo, pero no, es válido, creo que todos somos diferentes y es bueno respetar también las personalidades y las decisiones de todos, por eso es bueno quedarnos al final solo ya individualmente para pues saber escucharnos, saber pues. pero no Madrid, no hay problema, yo voy a estar corrigiendo eh, ya que tengo pues el Mi autorización. La autorización de Mario para corregir. No, sí, claro. Es parte del proceso, es parte no, de y, la clase y, del maestro alumno, es parte de. Y, y, no, y es mejor, para mí se me queda más si me corrijo. <risa> Así es el cerebro, ah, es cierto. Ah, sí, la verdad que La sí. corrección es, no sé por qué se guarda más fácil esa información, a aprenderla uno mismo. ¿Ok? Gracias. Mm, a practicar, madre, eso es todo, ¿ok? Y yo sí. sé que ese toy va a salir súper fácil. Muy buena que me Cualquier cosa thank que you. soy, que estamos, ¿ok, okay Madre? So, ok, thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank Have you. a good bye. night. Thank you. Okay, bye.